去。Eagles, Eagles, <laughs> Eagles, huh? Hey, Eagles. What's what's y'all's record now? Same as it was before, right? Gang, 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 gang. Okay, yeah, well, gang, anyway. gang. They know, they know what. I'm a bandwagon know. fan, apparently. Whatever, so, eight, you know. no, eight, no. I mean, it's not right. Yeah, eight, <laughs> no. I need you know Byron to fix is? his. Who me? What? Who me? Are you, you talking? Are you talking about fix what? No, nah, yo, camera keep you, you keep. Yeah, going. he been lagging the whole time. I tried to tell yeah. him. If you talking about me, who know the quarterback is? Hell yeah, Donovan McNabb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you I saw a photo a little while ago with uh Mike J, Chunky Donovan Soup McNabb and uh and Jalen Hurts together. Um, I think I'm Donovan McNabb. I'm pretty sure it's Donovan McNabb. Well, look, I got it. Good morning. Good afternoon. This is the I was about to do it. <laughs> well, we got to talk about y'all's Eagles again. Sorry. Go ahead, sir. No, you got it. You got it. Oh, I got it today. Good morning. Good afternoon. This is the Experts About Nothing podcast. I'm Durante. That's your host in the blue hat, Wesley. How you doing, Wesley? Oh, man. You know, I'm out here surviving, brother. You know, doing my best to get by. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I hear you. How you doing? That's Byron with the big dogs only. How you feeling today, dog? What's going on? I'm doing great. It's the voice for me. All right, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. How we feeling, yo? Hey, real quick. Um, I want to, I know y'all about to get this stuff, but happy He's Veterans Day. Trying to, to get anybody. his best on voice on. <laughs> Um, I just want to say happy Veterans Day to all the veterans out there. Um, each and every one of you living or you know, obviously past too. But um, thank you for all that you've done, all the footsteps, not all the footsteps, and the footsteps that we have to follow in. Appreciate you very much. Word, 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 Durante. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we appreciate your service to all the veterans out there. Uh, hope y'all did well today and all your free items that you were able to inquire. <laughs> I got cussed out because I was getting free stuff. <laughs> Who cussed you out? No, nah, for uh, they they would. What's crazy? They would send me stuff like, "Hey, do you know they giving away ice cream? Um, this or hey, they got this." I was all good looks. I was like, "Sorry, ass." I said, like, "Wait a minute, you sending it to me? Don't be upset right now. <laughs> Don't be like that." I. <laughs> Man, these your friends, bro. Nah, these, these your, your people. people. They looking out for the cookout, yo. Are you sure? Yeah, heck yeah. Mm. Well, I'm sure they are, but your friends are are different anyway. But we know that. I got I got good friends. Don't talk about Mike like that. I wasn't talking about Mike in this situation. I'm just talking about your associates in general. <laughs> but shout out Mike. <laughs> hey man, I see people right um, begging and looking uh, to see when that Long John Silver's opens up. So they people want it, man. Who? I said people begging and looking for that Long John Silver's to open back up, man. It's crazy. I don't think people really like begging. They just kind of, you know, want to know so they can just. I'd avoid it, honestly. That's just me. <laughs> I mean, I know you would, but it's people out here that say, hey, yo, when is the Long John Silver's opening back up? Like, they put mm. posts in places and all kind of stuff, man. It's crazy. But uh, regardless of all that, I don't, I don't. I did this in a different format, so we're going to see how the show goes up because I scheduled this show, so we're going to see how that works out, which is why we were going live at 9 no matter what because, yeah. Uh, yeah, I scheduled it. But anywho, and anyway, uh, hope y'all's week has been well, but let's get into the foolishness. So uh, with that being said, I guess we'll pick up a, pick up from a couple things from last week, um, and we'll start off with um, – this Drake and uh, 21 album, Byron, man, what do you think about it? You just freshly listened to some of it. Do your thing, Byron. Do your, do your thing, Byron. <laughs> oh, <my gosh>. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I'm pretty much 80% of it done so far, like over the tracks I haven't heard and stuff like that. Drake, he was comfortable with 21, you know? He kind of went to a level with 21, you know what I'm saying? It's like he was comfortable. Sound like he it. Was more like, <laughs> he, you know, he was just. It was just he was just he was just like talking like he was you know what I'm saying just you know with him and they was just so I mean 
So, I mean, that's a good thing. I mean, is it my cup of tea? Mm, I mean, he got some joints on there. I mean, he barred up on a couple of ones. 21 had a couple of bars that caught me for a second. Like, okay. But, um, decent mixtape. I will say that. I don't think it's a mixtape. It's pretty sure it's an album. Oh, uh, yeah. I was about to say the album. Call it an album. You know? <laughs> Now, I know, see what you're saying. Decent, I see what you're saying. It's more of a mean, tape to me, you know. I guess they they calling it an album, but it ain't got no structure, so it's it's more of a tape to me. I mean, I don't disagree with you. Like structure is a uh, mm, that's a problem. Um, the quality is a slight problem. I think it could be considered a tape because of the quality that is there. I mean, production quality is fine. Just the overall. Uh, works of the album is a problematic to me. You feel me? Um, I don't know. It was a miss for me, man. It was a miss for me. Last two Drakes have been a miss for me. You're going to have to go back to the drawing board. But I don't really think you care like that either. So, I mean, the, you know, just the random shit. But, <laughs> huh? But, but here's the thing, though. If you just listen to the songs, man. It's it's so much it's so many quotables. That's all he really needs now. Quotables to put on TikTok, you know, you know, Instagram reels, Facebook reels. Uh, I, mean, I don't know if you wanted to uh, do your thing, twenty one quotables, because they ripping him apart with that. I mean, oh, that just funny, bro. That's good. <laughs> hey, no, it's man. not. Hey, they 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 call him. They done found they done found pictures of Drake that ain't don't even exist in some places. <laughs> this man got a headband on with a jerry curl and one of, and a jersey on in one of his pictures. No, but I see what Byron's saying. He I I Byron listen to it. Any attention is good attention, but I don't agree with that. I, I this is what we're talking about. I see what Byron's saying. Oh, he's a <laughs> and he's some a of his songs, some of his songs is like. I'm like, oh, now I was like, okay, all right, maybe Dre back. The first couple, like I said last week, I was like, you can't listen to this man, though. But then giving it another shot, I'm like, okay, I see where Drake is and 21 is coming. Because I swear I've always been like, yo, I'm not a 21 fan. Not that much. But this album, 21, is actually not bad. Word. Okay, here we go. Say, say what you got to say about uh, what's your I, name? I, Wesley. I, I, hey, hey, man. You entitled to your opinion. I respect it. Yep. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. I don't agree I mean, with it. I, like, but I, I, mean, I respect 21 it. is not barred. I mean, he's not he's not uh, listened to. Like, if it was just a tape of his, nah. Of course not. But I feel like Drake made him level up a little bit to hang. I mean, to run the race with him. But you know what I'm saying? Drake was just. You know, so Drake had like two verses on like each song, and Twenty One had one. So, and Drake did the hook. So, uh, I think they finished at the same finish line, and it won't first. But that's not that's none of my business. Um, I mean, now granted, my opinion is trash. Uh, y'all know I'm an expert about nothing, as many many people know. Exactly. So obviously, um, people don't agree with me, and people won't agree with what every anything we say. Some people say it's fire. You know, it's the best. You know, they love everything about it and they love the last album, you know. That's because um, Drake but... talk, he not he he ain't talking like oh my he ain't it ain't CBL, I mean uh CLB. It's it's him and 21 just making songs, chilling, you know. They just talking like ain't nobody here, but they just put it like they they just made a tape. Like, man, we just gonna say whatever, we're gonna do our thing. And yep, some people and anybody gonna them, buy it and consume it. I mean, they did. They did. I mean, everybody want to take care. They they compare things. To, oh, he Drayton gave you a. Hey, you on bars? He gave it to. I you agree. Bars, I wish your uh, internet it. quality was better. It's still, it's still. Uh, yeah, I ain't never seen you, boy. Yes, yes, we have. We've seen him worse, but your internet is garbage right now. Who you got? He got glow, but it's garbage right there. Oh, okay. Glow. It's never his internet. It's always his devices, really. Yeah, don't don't do that. Um, yeah, he's still on the same. He's still on the subject from last week. That's why his internet's coming back in. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna kind of rehash a couple things last week, but it ain't nothing crazy. 
Um, mm-hmm. but I do, I do, I did want to talk about um fire. I don't know. Are you still there? No, still his there? beard. It's like his beard fell off in the jump. I ain't... <laughs> I'm here. Okay, right. good. Because I, I do, I want to talk about this Kyrie stuff some more. I'm here. Because... Just, just, just keep going. Okay. Can you hear? I mean, am I that delayed for you? Wow. Very yeah. You are. All right, Byron. Uh, do me a favor. Restart your stuff, and Durante and I are going to talk uh, Drake in 21 while you do that. That man said, Byron, am I delayed for you? That man <laughs> was seven that. clicks after. <laughs> uh, leave, leave, leave the whole thing and come back, okay? Because you you very delayed, and it's, it's messing up progress. But Don Durant, why he, why you do that? So, um, Durante, what yeah. changed you from your initial impression? What song made you change? Um, I think it was like the I can't think of the name of it, bro. I gotta go back and look because it's trash. Uh, but that's okay <laughs> because it's trash. Like I said, you hear Drake in some of the stuff, yo. It's like um, I hear Drake being petty in some of the stuff, and I hear yeah. Drake, you know, I'm uh, I'm like, oh. be being saucy in some of the joints. But yeah. I, it ain't, I don't know, man. The first track, the beat was fire, but throw Look, away the whole verse. Wrong with the beats on any other it's, track, and except they all made. I the think same. Uh, hours in silence. That shit was alright. No, no, the one before that, the one before that. It's got decent samples. Spin about you. A couple, a couple, a couple. It's got, it's got, yeah. a, it's got decent production mm-hmm. quality. It's just the actual quality of work within it is my problem. You feel me? I'm telling mm-hmm. you, bro. I listened to it, and and I got a head, and I got a headache. I listened to it like okay. two times in a row. I was really giving it a chance, man. I, I never I heard somebody get a headache from listening to a song. Like, just I listened to an shy. album twice. Well, she's me a song. I mean, an album. It was not yeah. for me. I'm sorry. It was not for me. So I don't know, man. Also, I don't know. Uh, dude, dude named Najee that um was on here. That boy loved that. He was like, bro, this is this is drink is, at his finest. I'm like, dog. He also came not. in here spreading some some Tom Fooley when he joined in talking about uh, um 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 Jalen Hurts got killed in a car crash. You don't do that to people, man. I'm like, oh man, nah, I can't mess with the dude. You can't come in oh. like put death on people's name and stuff. That ain't cool. So did I can't take it as a finger on Drake, huh? No shot, right? He didn't do that, did he? No, he did that last week. I didn't see it. I deleted the comment after it popped up. Oh. I'm like, oh man, get out of here. I let I let him talk all the rest of his stuff and all that and all that, but I, I deleted that comment because I'm like, that ain't even cool. No, I, I feel you. Dang, bro. I didn't even know. Come on, tighten up on um, Najee. Damn. But uh, back, but back, back to Drake. But I mean, we said that about Joe Burrow, he'd be ready to cry. Anyway, um, <laughs> keep going. He a Cincinnati fan? Yeah, he a Cincy fan. Oh, he just that's 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 yeah. I bet he liked them because TJ TJ Hoosman Zada. TJ Hoosman Zada. I said Hoosman Tata. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the light skins. He's like, all right, let me find a light skin. I like an NFL. All right, TJ that's pretty Hoosman much. Zada. Cause he don't like. Cause I say Chad Johnson, he ain't think Chad Johnson. I was like, "Are you serious right now?" Wait, wait, what? Like, man, why I tell you his take on football be pissing me off. I be ready to fight him. His, his take on football is anybody that's light skin is good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And he won Andy Dalton fan when they was fine. I was like, "Bro, I was like, I see what you're saying, but Andy Dalton did take y'all at that point. It was the coaching took y'all to a couple playoffs. Stop back on. Like I mean, that. so was he a Carson Palmer fan? Uh. That's a good one. I need to ask him that. That's a good one. Because you call us a problem, I might have to judge you. <laughs> I might judge you a little bit. Carson won't bad, but he won't Andy. I mean, and Andy, you ain't no Andy. You know what I mean, huh? He was out there with the boys at the time, so, you know. Yeah. But uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I really don't know. But back to Drake. Um, no, no, we done. We need to redo. Retry. Mulligan. You know that back in Madden? Mulligan, mm, Mulligan, yeah. What I'm gonna say, redo for this album is a <laughs> six. Okay. I'm gonna give this album six. I'll give you six. I'll give you six and out of a hundred. Alone puts it above five, but I don't, I can't uh, out, of, out of a hundred. 
That's hilarious. No, I, I get, I get, I give it, I give it. By the way, I don't, I didn't, I didn't get it, and I don't, we won't talk about it today. But I think we need to talk about that list that's going around. Uh, uh, goats of the NBA or whatever. Well, no, it's a tier list of NBA players, and like it's got joined by that, itself. But I heard that, yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. got joined by itself. It had uh, Ben Russell yeah, like, wasn't even like in top three, I think, or something like that. No, and then it was like it was like what was it? It was Magic, I think Kareem, and some other folks at tier two, and Brown was at tier three with Larry Bird and some other people. I can't do this. I I can't do this with this new generation, bro. They yeah, like they they the type to put like James Harden in tier two. Like I can't <laughs> do this with this generation. Like I'm dead, yo. I'm dead serious. Like it's a it's a it's one of the students in school. He's like. He's a James Harden fan. I'm like, you think James better than Kobe? He was like, man, if he pulled a ring off, he'd be better than Kobe. I was like, you being serious? Like, you're being, you're, you're not, you're being serious. You're not talking like, like you're looking at me saying this. And he was that like that serious. Like, if he had a ring, he'd be better than Kobe. He'd be considered the top. I'm man, like, ain't no way under the sun. Who's what? That, he need better he, education. What, what and he he, at this school? I ain't. I, I'm. I'm not gonna put my job to out there, but I. Just talk to these students, and they. All right, day day. I understand. Anyway, that's none of my. Business. That was good. That was smooth. <laughs> anyway, um, but no, I I was like, but this is the generation that we're in. He's he's twenty. He's twenty. And I was like, he's like, no, he's like Kobe's a goat, but he'd be up there with Kobe. I was like, you, you must be playing. You must you must be playing like. Nah, you play. Nah, you play. I know you play, man. It's it, almost. Be, I mean, almost wrote the kid up for disrespect. Like I really was close <laughs> to it. Like I was about this close. Like you about to, get, oh boy. But no, um, you can't do that. Like this generation is like putting people in it. Curry up there now. I, I've I've come to accept it because um, me and uh, me and uh, Mike had this conversation about. It. I've come to accept it. But I mean, you gotta put Curry up there just for the yeah, just for the stuff that he's doing. That uh nobody else is out here doing in general. Facts. I mean, he is definitely a, a player of this generation. Yeah, I can't. I can dig that. So I definitely say, yeah, you definitely have to put some respect on the man's name, like for sure, for sure. So I I don't have a problem with that. I definitely think you definitely have women in conversation for a lot of different things. But I think what we Ain't about to do is start just randomly disrespect. I don't know. I don't understand why we're not going to randomly disrespect players that's like considered like automatic top. Like I have a thing where I say automatic, and it's LeBron, Jordan, and Kobe. They're automatic top uh, enjoy, ten enjoy. wherever wherever you want to put them, but they're automatic top ten. Then you got Ben Russell. Then you got Kareem. Then you got. Johnson, shit. Yeah, I said Ben Russell. My fault. Uh, Bill Russell. Then you got Magic Johnson. Then you got Kareem, Shaq. However you want to do it, but three of them are automatic. Like you can't not have them in top ten. And people say, "Well, that's my personal top 10. I'm like, in worldwide, you be looking stupid not putting. If you put one out of the three in top ten and not the other two, I really might judge you on your facts of, of basketball. And I love people's opinion about it when they say, oh, but he ain't got enough rings. I might care about that. I, I'm I'm tired of that argument. I'm tired it, of. I mean, it's a lot of people out here that ne don't necessarily, you know, got the rings or whatever. I mean, that's, that's, that, that, that's the thing. I mean, but at the end of the day, I don't care what they say about certain people that literally have changed the game. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, dominated the game. I dominated, but people say people use that whole dominant, dominate, dominate the game factor and bring like Russ and all that. Like they're looking like, but what about the top seventy five? I'm like half that the top seventy five was trash. Trash. Like that jump was garbage, yo. You got people that because of them doing one thing, they're in that shit. Russ, I get it. He he. The next player to have a uh, average double, uh, double uh, quadruple, ah, triple double, triple double, me. triple double. My fault. Um, and I get that, but you ain't about to bring on Anthony Davis in this shit. 
You ain't, but I'm. I, I just can't get behind that. I'm sorry. Like a <laughs> good player, ball in, with the Pelicans. Now garbage, in my opinion. But when he's healthy, he's good. But I can't have that. I can't have that because. But people. But then I said that to somebody. It was like, well, you like Tracy so much. You say when he's healthy, he's good. But Tracy's a different breed. I don't. You're Bruh. not about to sit here and compare Tracy and Anthony Davis in the same. You ain't about to put them in the same breath. I'm sorry. You can't. Bro, I'm it. telling you, it's something. Now you talking about this this generation. It's a lot of people that don't. You know, I was having this conversation with Brandy the other day. It's a lot of people that younger people that can't name like uh, the greats. They don't. They don't put any respect on. Them. They don't put any respect on Kareem. They don't put any respect on any, anybody. They only put respect on the people that uh, had a highlight reel that they could see, like the Vince Carters and and you know stuff like that of the world. Right. But they don't put any respect on the actual older dudes that were out here balling that made a way for the things that people do now. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. It's crazy. Welcome back, Bob. What's up? I man? think you I think you straight now. It, it, it was my leg of swim. Huh? I said it was my think of swim that was on. It was eating up a lot of data. It was Download. I asked you before before we started. I was like, bro, you got anything running? He's like, nah, I'm good. I didn't no. see it. It wasn't on my um thing. I didn't see it. And I was like, yo, that thing usually eats up a lot because it takes like like uh, like ten seconds just to get out of it. Like it take it just like, oh, yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, got it. it. Robot. Like, that's, that's what it is. It, it's still is it still on? Because it seemed like you still having trouble. A little bit. Mm. All right. Well, no, why you all. figure that out? We we are, right now because you I think you can hear us. We talking about just just general general disrespect of uh, this NBA list that's floating around that I didn't download so for us to fully talk about. But just that I don't know if you saw, but there's a tier list that uh, has Jordan at the top by itself, Goat alone, and then the next tier you got Kareem, uh, Magic, I think, and some other folks, and then on the third tier is where, you, where LeBron sits and he's there with Larry Bird and some other folks. And uh, I don't know what they base it on, but I can't. I can't see it. Nah, I just. I don't know, man. I like I said, I I'm not going to take away any player's ability because why they made it, they're in the NBA. But if we're going to sit here and have a have a conversation about what players we put on a higher level, and you're putting people like James Harden up there. I'm kind of, I'm I'm judging you, mind you. James is a good player, but Rob Ori also has a few rings and a couple buzzer beaters, but he's not up there and talks. So, and yeah, his name ain't James Worthy either. But there ain't none of my business, you know. Talk, hey, 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 they don't want to talk about that, coach. They don't want to talk about that. Don't even, hey, man, don't, you ain't, don't even worry. They don't know who James Worthy you. is. So it don't matter because exactly, it's just, that's not that's not in in, in, in the young folks is uh, um brain about what but when the kid worthy. but when the dude gave me he he's just a hardened fan and I like I like I, I understood that but when he gave me his like five he put in Duncan and I was like all right you watch basketball like he put in Duncan uh Lajuan um he threw Iverson there Kobe and then uh he also said LeBron and I was like that's the five you would pick I'm like I'm okay with that so I was like, I'm okay with that well he put his hard in that too no, he's just saying – he's saying that if James would have got a ring, his name would be more out there than it is now. And I'm like, do you believe in that if he got one ring? Because I'm I'm just saying without rings, it's a couple of people I can name that are out there. Rick Fox got a ring. Yeah. I'm like, your Don's has them got a couple. <laughs> your Don's has them got a few of them things. <laughs> James, James Jones got a bunch with LeBron, but he ain't – Got no, no, ma. The man got rings. He got hardware. He, hey, he held down that bench solidly. Yeah, I solidly. mean, I'm talking like that's that's, my baby. That he did that. I, I mean, with some solid boy. Well, yeah. nobody better. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm trying to tell you, man. But my, like I said, my thing is just the fact that they. Yeah, they don't know big game. They talking shit, Mike. Think you might coming through because uh, Wes is talking shit about you, Mike. Anyway, um, he been here the whole time. No, he hasn't. Yeah, the whole time I've been talking, I was talking about him. He was here. No, he won't. He, he would have come. He, oh, he would have roast your ass by then. Anyway. He was here. He liked the video. There, it doesn't matter. 
Anyway, Byron, you back? Um, no, you still froze. Okay, cool. Yeah, Byron looking. Yeah, Byron back. look high. Sh- All right, he look high as shit. Um, I don't remember what I said now, Mike. What's what what I said? I said it while you were here, so you heard it. <laughs> um, but yeah, like the likes of names of like without rings, like Carter. Everybody's like, and then uh, there was another argument. Um. Uh, about uh, Vince Carter, I almost said James Carter. <laughs> Vince Carter was like, "Oh, he just known for dunking." I'm like, "You, you must have never seen like a real highlight tape of Vince Carter because he's got some buzzer beaters. He's got some impact game, you know, play. Yeah, like, he had a buzzer beater in his final season. Like this is all right. Vince Carter was a name that you had to be like, "Oh, he's on the court. Like he can score. He like you think he got all his points off of just dunking? Like, come on, dog. Like you can't do that. You can't." Go I mean, by, you know what I'm saying, like a highlight tape because he dunks. Like the man had some, he's got some, he's got some highlights, yes, of dunking, but he also has some highlights of, oh, Vince Carter just, just kept the light. Like he's got some highlights. He was a household name. Like, come on, dog. Stop, stop treating that man like that. You're right. He Let's get into the time foolery because I want some people to comment on, on this uh, random election stuff since we can talk about it now. Come on, Durante. I know you don't want to talk about it, but join in. Uh, what are you talking about? So, they, they, uh, cause you don't like this, man. Th- these people out here voting anybody in office. You know they almost elected Herschel Walker. You know this man can't count to hundred. I'm pretty sure. And they almost, uh, they almost Mayweather ran. They almost, they almost voted. Spot, huh? They almost voted May- Mayweather. He can't read. They almost voted Mayweather in the what? Office. What office? They got bored and was like, you know what? We need a, we need a face. <laughs> so we go put Mayweather. In so they, they would have been better off doing Mayweather than Herschel Walker. I mean, goodness gracious. I mean, good. They didn't they didn't prop this man up and they got a runoff in Georgia. By the way, if anybody from Georgia hear this before the runoff, um, I don't care about your political opinion. Just look at the two people running and tell me why you're gonna elect a man that I'm pretty sure will try to put a square block in a round hole. It, don't 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 be fooled by the politics and the left and the right and the Democrat and Republican. Think with your brain and look who you're trying to put in office. Come on now. Herschel Walker couldn't tell you what three plus two is. I'm just trying to put it out there. He said three plus two. Bro, he, they almost elected this man. Then I think in Louisiana they did. I think they elected to call the crackhead man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure they, they put the... Uh, Call a crackhead man in office. I, I, I don't understand. <laughs> y'all, y'all gotta talk to me, man. Byron, man, why are you here? And I think you kind of sort of stable. Talk to me, dog. Hey man, people gonna pick who they, you know what I'm saying, who they see. You know what I'm saying? Who they see visible. <laughs> if the opponent ain't visible, you know what I'm saying, they ain't gonna pick them. I mean, that's just what it is. Look, man. All these people were visible, man, and and they states. I mean, the collar crackhead dude was very visible online just because he said that foolishness. But Herschel was very visible, and so was Warnock down in Georgia. They were all visible. Who was I not mean, visible is Byron's internet connection. Um, it's, it's his computer. It's not his internet. Yeah, but who ran? Right, uh, say what, Byron? Yeah, but who ran against Trump? What? I said, who ran against Trump? Nobody. Trump won up for election right now. Is that, that if he declares himself that he's gonna run, he's gonna run in twenty twenty four. You ain't vote this year, did you, buy? We didn't have a conversation. Oh, no, oh. I'm saying the year he won. <laughs> no, oh, I well, said, that was I, No, I said the year he won. We had all the Hillary stuff going on. Most people would forget that it was Hillary because 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 Trump was more visible. They were both very visible because he was trying to accuse her of all he was trying to read her emails and stuff. <laughs> he made it a big deal that she was out here, you know, doing all this uh nefarious stuff and all that. But yet it come out that this man is more crooked. Well, we knew he was crooked, but all his crookedness is coming out now. But I mean I I think that he was more of a splash and he was more of a of a, of a sensationalist I guess you could probably say mm-hmm. you know he he was the splash guy the 
I'm gonna be flashy and talk God. I'm gonna offend everybody, God. And then, you know, because I say what I want to say, they gonna think that I'm the realest out here, and, and they gonna fall for my tricks and my mirrors and all my games. And they did, which is actually something I want to talk about here in a couple minutes. But I want to give uh give you a chance to say anything else on it, and then give Durante to say anything else on these crazy elections that we had, and then we're gonna slide on past that. Uh, I'm Durante, what you got for me? Good. Um, Call a cracky. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I didn't put this bad at all. This is unbelievable. Uh, hey, Call a cracky. What? You being serious? I, yo, I thought I thought it was a joke. I thought it was like stage. So I was like, oh shit. And then somebody said, nah, that was I was like, oh. Whoo, man. All right, well. God bless America. That's all I got to say. God bless Louisiana, I suppose. Jeez. Yeah, facts. Call a crackhead. Yeah, that's what he said, man. That's what he said. But what I wanted to get to was I wanted to, you know, talk about the Kyrie situation a little bit more because I think what it highlights is why people are saying Black Lives Matter and people don't get that and i think that that's what's interesting i think kanye should look at this too and be like this is why we say this and this is why what you were saying and what you were doing hurt people this is why people you know aren't looking out for you right now because what you're saying doesn't make sense because like here's the thing with Kyrie, and i heard shannon talking about this and you know i was thinking about it so it made sense i was like man because i was thinking about it but like if you say something about, you know, the Jewish people, you you get, you, you know, you, you get canceled. You know, you run into all these problematic situations. But, you know, you know, oh, oh, Trump can say something about this person, that person, and he don't, he don't get canceled. You know, um, you know, we got the guy that, um, so this is, goes back to the election, but um, Fetterman won in Pennsylvania, right? He beat Dr. Oz, right? Yeah. And this dude got on the air and was talking about them wearing um hoodies and stuff. And he was like, Where's George Zimmerman when you need him? Like, and he ain't been canceled. At least not as the last time I looked into it. He ain't been canceled yet. But yet that's 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 making fun of black pain. And yet he's not canceled, but you know, Ky like I said, I don't, I don't think Kyrie was right. I mean, Kyrie shouldn't say what he said that's fine, you know. But he apologized for it, and and yet they try to make him like gravel and crawl to get back in the NBA, and that's was not cool, you know. Like if if you gonna if you gonna cancel one person for this, and then you know potentially forgive them so quick, why are we not giving Kyrie that same luxury? Because he talked about, you know, the Jewish folk, you know. Like I, said, I, I, I like I said, I don't, I don't agree, you know, with what he was saying. But at the end of the day, he should. This is crazy what they're doing to him now. I mean, but you know, I want to, you know, open it up to y'all and y'all, y'all talk to me. Byron, it'll give you ten seconds to catch up. So Durante, talk to me. Kyrie said, "I said what I said." <laughs> Well, I mean, Kyrie apologized, though, man. That's the thing. He, he apologized he, 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 and everything. Kyrie probably, Kyrie probably tired of just getting a bunch of BS from, like, maybe his agent. Maybe we never know who's talking to him in the background. Like, yo, you really need to apologize before you mess your image. And he's probably like, bro, I'm saying this because I don't care. But if you want me to so you can shut the heck up, I'll do it. And that's probably what's going on in his mindset, honestly. No, I mean, but that's Durante. What I'm saying is, he actually apologized. He's fully apologized for everything and said, My you bad. Believe like it? The interview, interview that happened, yeah, he didn't say it then, but he came out and actually put out a statement and apologized. He's apologized. You but now they're giving all a, these a real demands they want him to do. Now that it's crazy. You believe it's a real apology? Or I, mean, just, I just think just it was, it, it could have been real, could have been fake. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't catch a oh, sentiment same. in his voice. I'm, I can't believe I'm quoting like what Byron said. We don't know what's going on in the background. We don't, but I know that he has done his part initially, 
and then that wasn't enough. That's not enough. So now they're trying to make him basically uh, uh, crawl in the mud under some barbed wire, you know what I mean, to get back in the NBA. That's what's that's 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 what's interesting. It's the double standard in which they apply to to Kyrie, but not others. You know, yeah, that I mean, part. Yeah, I, I get that. I do. Get it's that. just it's just unnecessary. I, I feel I feel for a situation because we we don't get the same luxury that other folks get. Like I said, my man could literally go out here and, and reference the murder of a kid, a black kid that was wearing a hoodie. And look and act and look and ask for his killer to go out here and take out some other folks that are wearing hoodies. Like, who does that? Byron, man, talk to me if you can. Man, I don't know what Kyrie said though, to be honest with you. Well, he was referencing he was referencing the struggle uh of this um this movie, which is the movie. He had nothing to do with, by the way. I can't remember the name of the movie right now. I can't remember the name of the movie right now. But it was it was an Amazon production. I could probably look it up. But at the end of the day, regardless of if he had anything to do with the movie, he promoted the movie, he posted the movie, whatever he did, and, and then initially didn't apologize for whatever. After that, after he apologized, and said, whoops, my bad. It should have been done if they gonna treat everybody else, it treat everybody the same, but that's not what they're doing. Like that's that's why at the end of the day, folks that don't care about the actual organization of Black Lives Matter, what money they get, what they use, it's the statement of the situation is what people use and say they don't mm. care about the organization that came behind it because right now two two black dudes own the trademark for white lives matter which is very interesting because they they were very smart well actually they they were given it by somebody else that actually purchased it but they have it now and that's a whole nother thing but it's something to say you know, it's 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 something to be said about actually making a statement Versus supporting an organization. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's not That's the true. organization that we support. It's, it's what's behind the words that people are supporting. And just to let you know, hey, we black folks over here kind of matter too. Uh, forget, you know, don't forget about us over here. It's kind of what it's saying, what it's implying. Versus... You know, the tomfoolery that Candace Owens got going on, the tomfoolery that Kanye got going on. And then, you know, Mr. Farrakhan came on and he was trying to talk about, you know, Kanye's situation. And Kanye, this is what's wrong with Kanye. Kanye was like, you know what? He slighted me. I don't support him either. Basically, we need to have a conversation. This was, that's something wrong with Kanye, man. I don't care what nobody says. Something wrong with it, dude. But that's not it, no, there. That's not what we're talking about right now. But I mean, what we're talking about the double standard though, Byron. What are you what are you what are you feeling about that? I mean when you don't write the checks, you know what I'm saying? You gotta you know to issue that apology or you get canceled. I mean, that's pretty that's much but that's it the is. thing. He issued that's the a good apology. Way to put he, it. he issued he issued the apology. The apology has been issued, you know. Freedom of speech ain't free, man. I said that last week. You had a problem with that. I said freedom of speech comes with consequences. And that's a, and that was before all this additional stuff came out. I don't have a problem with, you know, the man that writes your checks that happens to be Jewish being offended by what you're saying. You know what? I ain't finna write you no more checks. This is ridiculous. But, you know, then, you know, you come out and apologize for the situation. You know, my bad. You know, I didn't exactly understand the situation. I saw it and thought it was cool, blah, blah, blah. And, and then, you know, you, you get done with it. But then they they out here making you grovel now. They're making you beg now. Just to see how far how far they can take it is what it seemed like. I could be wrong. But they said they suspended it for five games, but it looked like he's going to be out for at least six or seven. So they ex extending the suspension is what it looked like to me. 
So I, I don't know, man. It, it, it's a, uh, I don't know. It's kind of foul to see. 